What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm bringing a Cheat Engine refresher video for those of you who are already familiar with Cheat Engine but maybe you haven't used it in a number of months and you need a refresher with everything. I'm just going to run through the tutorials that are built into Cheat Engine and I'm not going to spend uh, much time at all touching on things that you probably already know about if you can make it through the tutorials or if you could make it through all the tutorials before you put it down for a while. So let's get started. I've gone ahead and attached Cheat Engine to the tutorial program. First thing we need to do is scan for health. This one's pretty easy, you know. Hit me. Alright, there we go. We need to change it to a thousand. And then we'll get our next. Alright. Unknown initial value, new scan. Yep, unknown initial value, first scan. Alright, hit me, minus nine. So we'll search for. I'm sorry, not negative nine. We'll search for nine. Decreased value by nine. All right, and hit me again. Well, see, we've got some of these changing here, so if we wanted to, we could just say remove selected addresses. Now let's hit me. All right, this one changed instantly. That's the one. What do we need to change it to? 5,000. 5,000. All right, so next should become available here. Hang on, click hit me now. Did we need to lock it at 5,000? Or wait, what am I doing? Change the wrong one, like herp a derp. There we go. Next. All right. <clears throat> so, floating points. New scan. Uh, type. Float. We're going to look for 100. All right, first scan. Hit me. All right, it actually ended up being this one. So we need to change that one to 5,000. Okay, and then we've got our double here for ammo, which actually might be, what's this, fire? Yeah, I didn't think it would show up for float, but new scan, type, double, first scan, 99.5, 5 fire, yep, that's it. Change that to 5,000, and on to the next one, code finder, new scan, going to search for 100. Uh, we'll do four bytes. Change value. 358. All right, so we'll say what writes to this address. Yes, attach the debugger. All right, change value. Here we go. Replace with code that does nothing. Okay. Uh, change value. All right, there we go. Next. Okay, pointers, so we just need to find this one pointer. So let's look for 100, whoops, 100. First scan, change the value, 567. Next scan, here we go, let's find what writes to that. Okay, change, okay, EDX is what? Right here, control C, stop, close. There was no offset, that's good, so, oops, X, V, first scan. All right, two, five, seven, let's just try this one here. I'll change record, address, pointer, zero, zero, oh wait, duh, this is just one pointer, so it's this one right here. Zero zero six four five three six zero, and there's our value. So we say okay. And what does it want us to do? Uh, change the values in the pointer to five thousand and freeze it. There we go. Freeze the value. Change the pointer. And next should pop up for us here. There we go. All right. So we're good to go with that pointer. Code injection. New scan. Let's search for health one hundred. Undo hex, 100, first scan, hit me, 99, okay, here we go, see what writes to the address, hit me, all right, EBX uh, plus 478, what does this want us to do, uh, increment with 2, all right, show disassembler, all right, we can 
just say tools. Come on. Auto assemble, template, cheat engine framework, and then code injection. Yep, we're good to go there. And now we're just going to move to into here. Or I'm sorry, we will add to to EBX, right? So whatever value is in there, we'll add two to it. Let's execute and see what happens. Yes. Successful. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, we're good. Yep. <clears throat> close all that stuff. Stop and close. Go next. Multi-level pointers. I'm going to go ahead and clear all this garbage out here. Whoops. Delete. Yes. New scan. All right. Let's look for 3660 first scan. Here we go. Uh, bring it down. What writes to it? Okay. ESI plus 18. What's ESI here? Search for that. Control C, stop, close. Uh, hex. Search for that. All right. So 2D, we'll go for. Uh, 2F. Screw it. Why not? Uh, change the record address. Alright, we had an offset of 18, so let's throw that in there, and then let's go 002F 5630. Alright, still pointing to a good address there. We say OK. Now we find out what accesses it. Yep, what accesses the pointer. Change the value. Alright, we want the Let's see what's ESI here. 2DF810. We already did that. We want this top one here. That's right. ESI. We'll search for this one. Copy. Stop. Close. No offset there. That's good. New scan. First scan. All right. So let's go with this one here. All right, zero two six A C zero C. Add an offset. Move eighteen up. Zero. All right, still good so far. See what accesses this. All right, find what accesses the pointer. Change the value again. ESI up here. We'll look for that now. Control C. Stop. Close. New scan. First scan. All right, let's go with this one here. All right, two C F eight E four, and there was no offset for that one either. Add offset eighteen zero zero. Oh, wait, was there an offset to that actually? What was it? Fourteen. Yep, offset of fourteen. All right, still looking good. Click OK. Find what accesses this address, and I think this is the one that'll take us to the to the base address that we're interested in here. Change value. Final offset of zero C. What's an ESI here? Okay, we'll search for that. Control C. Stop. Close. New scan. First scan. There we go. All right, so let's say add offset 18, 0, 14, and then C, 0, 0, 6, 4, 5, 3, 90. We say OK. Now it wants us to change it to 5,000 and freeze it. All right, boom, freeze it, change pointer. Wait a few seconds here, and voila, there we go, good to go. All right, now we've got shared code. This is the final one. All right, let's go ahead and delete that mess. New scan, let's start a scan for 100, and the type is float as specified there in the tutorial. First scan, all right, let's hit this guy. All right, there's player one, let's hit this guy, that's definitely player two. New scan, 500. Okay, hit the player two. Come on. Yep, that one there is player two. And just to make sure there's player, or I'm sorry, player three and then player four. Yeah. 
All right, so let's go to the uh, memory viewer and tools, and we'll say dissect data structures. I guess first we could find out what writes to one of these. We would find out what writes to all of them, but if you remember the tutorial, it shares the same code for everything, so the offset and everything is going to be the same. Attack. All right, EBX plus four. So we'll just move down four bytes whenever we throw all these memory addresses here. And uh, let's see. So we'll copy that one, paste it here, Control A A A to add and change the group here, new group to group two, and change that group for that one. OK. Control C, cancel. Control C, OK. And last but not least, this one here. Cancel. All right, and then we'll just go minus four for each of these. And then we'll define the structure. Yep. And 4K. And here we go. We see the uh, group one, group two for each of the individual players with the health and their names and all that good stuff. So now we want to go ahead and write our script. So the first thing that we'll do, we'll close this and let's see, EBX plus 10 is going to be what we're interested in whenever we write our script here. So let's go um, find what writes to this address one more time. Attack, go here show and disassembler All right. and we want to move up to the sub up here and write some code uh, inject some code there so we'll do tools auto assemble let's do AOB scan yep alright so once we inject we'll say original code original code. We'll create another label for new code. Alright, let's say new code. Oops. Dang it. <laughs> let's copy these. Paste. And we'll do f add instead of f sub. And we'll do the compare ebx plus 10 to 2, and if it's equal to 2, then we'll jump to original code. If it's not equal, we're going to add to our health instead. And then do that, bam, back to return. So the inject will start with new code at the jump there. And we should be good to go. We'll file, assign to current cheat table, close that. Uh, we'll go ahead and enable it. There's our jump. We'll follow it through and see what's going on here. Compare to, yep. All right, looks good. We will uh, follow back to where we were. Close that. Close this. And let's see what happens when we restart in autoplay. There we go. So click next. And you've completed the Cheat Engine tutorial. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that this was a good enough refresher for you. Um, I pretty much did this for myself as well. I go long periods of time where I don't do anything in Cheat Engine for a while. So it's good to have this kind of thing, I think. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Feel free to share this with anyone else you think would uh, be able to use it and all that good stuff. Thanks so much. See you guys in the next video. Take care.